Would Ohanese ever support and back a Yoruba presidential candidate over an Igbo one? FFK asked. Mm. So, because of the rift within the Afeni Ferris for a dozen uh, Peter Obi, um, so Fanika Odena as a Yoruba man is coming to ask whether will the Ohanese in Igbo ever support a Yoruba man as a presidential candidate over an Igbo man? Well, um, he had just asked that question. He's always a controversial person. He's always looking for where um, um, unprecedented argument will come from. But let's see what he has to say and what other people have to tell him as well. The director for new media for the Presidential Campaign Council under the Old Progressive Congress, APC, Chief Femi Fani Kayode, has asked if one of the biggest Igbo group in the Southeast can support a Yoruba president. The former minister of Aviation's statement is coming after the biggest Yoruba sociocultural group known as Afeni Fere endorsed and showed their support for the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi. FFK, who took to a social media handle to direct such a question towards the Afeni Fere, pointed out that the Ohanese will back an Igbo candidate, which comes from their region, as opposed to what the Afeni Fere did by throwing support for the former Anambra governor. He, however, said he is an admirer of the, of the unification of people in all respective regions, and though he sees nothing wrong with people coming together to liars, but the Ohanese may not do what the Afeni Fere did. He wrote, I am a great supporter of the handshake across the Niger, but the following question must be asked. Would a Haneze ever support and back a Yoruba presidential candidate over an Abu and Igbo one? Recall that many have reacted to the endorsement of Peter Obi ahead of the presidency by the Yoruba group, where some have opined that Peter Obi may cut short the votes which would likely have been given to the former Lagos State Governor. What's your opinion about this statement? Kindly drop your thoughts in the comment section below. So that is what uh, uh, Femi Fanekade is saying. The truth is that the uh, Femi Ferris have actually seen beyond tribal uh, sentiments beyond tribalism at this point at this condition nigeria is right now we are not looking for a tribal man a tribal person we're not looking for our own person we are looking for a person that has what it takes to bring nigeria out of the dungeon and the affinity Ferry group under pa adebanjo has proven that they have actually um looked beyond their nose they have actually seen the bigger picture they have gone beyond tribal tribal sentiment to endorse peter Obi for the forthcoming presidential election 2023 so what i say that the fn have demonstrated is actually um, a very high level of maturity towards our politics even though uh, Fashironti as an opposition group of the Afeni Fere again, who agreed to endorse Tinubu, the former Lagos State Governor, for the presidency. And that is why the rift is there now between the two different factions of Afeni Fere. But at the end of the day, who, who is actually seeing the bigger picture? And who is actually a real elder statesman between Fashironti and, uh, and uh, Padevanjo? I think the Afeni Fere team under Padevanjo have actually seen the bigger picture better. So Fanny Kaede, um, he has always been a Confucianist. He just threw that question, even though he claims to be a nationalist, but he has always been very, very controversial. Um, he was one of those people that actually dragged this APC government when he was under PDP. All of a sudden, he, the carpet just changed. He just cross-carpeted and went into APC, and now APC is not the best party. And all the bad things he said about APC when he was in PDP, he swallowed all of them. 
he swallowed all the vomit and now trying to protect APC. You know, so such person when he speaks, people will read in between the lines very well because he is after his interest most of the time, after his personal interest and not the national interest. He is not a nationalist. He is, he is, he is driven by his personal sentiment. Definitely, uh, we have tribal issues across the country, both the west, the east, the north, and the south. But at a time like this, where people try to see the bigger picture and try to uh, disabuse their mind from all those tribalistic tendencies, it calls for credence, it calls for applause, you know. So, so there shouldn't be any criticism coming to affect interference for endorsing Peter Obi. Even in Igbo land, it doesn't mean that all the Igbos will vote Peter Obi. That is the truth. Tinubu is there. He has planned a, a campaign rally at Anambra State for Monday, even though he is trying to shift it. Does it mean that if Tinubu goes to Imo, uh, Igbo land today, that he will not get support, even with all he's doing to Igbos in Lagos under his nose? But he's still going to Igbo land to campaign. And people are just fronting him and supporting him in, in Igbo land. That is why he's planning to go and do rally even in Peter Obi's own state. You know, just like the Labour Party has done in Lagos. So let us try to be nationalist and stop bringing topics that will create confusion, that will create um, differences, and then that, that will create undesired sentiment across parties, across tribes, and across groups in Nigeria. Uh, the question Peter B is, I mean, uh, FFK is asking, actually is uncalled for. Because he is trying, his tribalistic tendency is somehow overridden and already beaten, but he is trying to revive it by asking some questions that will create some unnecessary arguments and unnecessary um, um, sentiments across the tribal lines. And that, that will not be right for him who claim to be a Nigerian. You know? So let's see what uh, some people are saying. Uh, somebody has answered here, said, yes, in 1993, Chief M.K. Abiola won in every Igbo state. In 1999, Chief Abbasanjo won in every Igbo, Igbo uh, state. Even when he lost in Yoruba state. In 2003, Abbasanjo also won in every Igbo state overwhelmingly. So it means that this is a direct answer to FFK's question. So... There's, there's somebody is recounting the history of how the Yoruba have actually won uh, landslide elections in a, in a, in a, in a Igbo land in the past, and records are there. Okay, so so somebody is saying here, uh, yes, I love your reply. Don't mind this person, you know. They shouldn't mind uh, FFK on the way he. He handles things and the way he throws uh, uh, controversies in the air and expecting people to catch it and probably dance to his own side. It, does, it doesn't work that way. Somebody starting here say, in the future, it will be a reference point that the biggest and most respected sociocultural group in Yoruba land, Afeni Fere, once supported an Igbo man for president in this country for the sole aim of equality, justice, and fair play. This is a very good comment that as Afeni Fere has supported uh, or has declared a support for Peter Obi, it will be on record for the Yoruba and for the nation, for reference purpose, that at least there is a group in Yoruba land that supports Igbo's presidency, even though the Aousas and some other tribes don't want Igbo presidency because they feel Igbo man should not rule Nigeria, it should be the other, the Yoruba or the Aousas themselves. But at least the Afeni Fere have shown a different trait, different character, and a different behavior towards that um, belief and that notion, you know, and it's on record for them, and uh, it, it will go down well with them when it is um, referred to in the future. So there are several comments here which time will not permit me to, to you know, to share with us, but that is the question FFK is asking. Just put your comment below, and thanks for listening.